the demolition of the medieval London Bridge in 1832 and the loss of the Palisade that protected it resulted in the Thames rising and falling much more than it had done previously. Indeed, at times, the Thames in Kingston and Richmond was little more than a stream. This naturally caused some concern amongst the locals, and they even went as far to protest by staging a cricket match on the mud flats. Eventually, in 1890, it was decided to build a half lock at Weir, and with it a footbridge. Pedestrians were initially charged a penny to cross, unless you were a postman or a soldier. Oddly, if you were a sightseer and exited on the same side as you entered, you were charged two pence. Richmond Lock is one of the prettiest bridges on the river. I love the painted steel, the stone piers and the lampposts. The use of two paint colours reveals some of the detail that would otherwise be missed if you only used one. The clean stonework and bright paint makes the bridge really attractive to look at. This is a brilliant footbridge. I really like how it is incorporated into the lock and sluice gates. It reminds me of a proposal to build a crossing at a new Thames barrier, using one piece of infrastructure to aid another. Additionally, this footbridge is made of steel rather than cast iron, and has survived rather longer than some of the cast iron structures built over the Thames. Richmond Lock opened in 1894. The width of the river at this point is 83 metres. And the clearance is 8.6 metres. There are four piers here, making a total of five spans. And 2,000 people cross the bridge every day. What do you think of this bridge? Rate it by clicking on the link in the description. And you will contribute to the popularity rating of the trump card. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.